Honesty is the best policy. Sharon Horelstrom here with Supersize Your Business. And today our idiom, our proverb is honesty is the best policy. And I say honesty is the best policy, especially when you want to grow and build and supersize your business. Actually, I personally have learned and believe that honesty is the best policy in absolutely every area and aspect of our life, especially in our relationships. And since relationships are involved and interact with all different areas and aspects of our life, to me, I have deduced logically and experientially that honesty is the best policy. If you ever tried to sugarcoat something or just deliver bad news but in a way that was more tolerable only to find out that the person that you're delivering the news to gets really, really angry and upset because they feel like you're being deceptive or not telling them the truth or the whole truth. You know, there's certain certain situations we find ourselves in that are pretty much no-win situations. Think of your significant other. Does this dress make me look fat? Do these pants make me look like I have a big beer belly? Whatever it is, the answer to that is very... Uh, you want to be honest. You want to be honest. To me, honesty means you are being true to how you feel and think and believe and see and experience something. It doesn't mean it's the overall fact or truth of the universe or the world or true to anyone else, but it's true to you. I think that's how narcissists get by with their intolerable behavior is they honestly convince themselves that what they're doing and saying and how they're behaving is true. So honesty is the best policy. This idiom, this expression has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, of course. It is attributed to Sir Edwin Sandy, who worked for the Virginia Company. He was a Virginia Company officer, and that's the company that founded the first American colony of, in Jamestown, Virginia. And so he is uh, attributed to saying that. Well, later on, Ben Franklin used it in at least three of the documents that he wrote. And Thomas Jefferson said something to the effect of honesty is the first chapter in the book of wisdom, or I, I could be misquoting that, but something to that effect, basically saying, hey, if wisdom, if you want to be wise, the first step is to make sure that you're being honest, honest and truthful. So honesty, how does this apply to our businesses? Well, it applies to all our relationships. I mean, we have to be able to stand up for and have integrity and be confident in our truth and honesty means telling our truth sometimes when it isn't it doesn't feel like it's in our best interest sometimes we have to tell the truth about our feelings sometimes we have to tell the truth about our mistakes or our shortcomings or our doubts or our fears sometimes we have to tell the truth and be honest about our ability to deliver results for different customers I worked for a, an organization early on in my corporate career and the sales part of the company was very, very powerful in this particular company. And they would go out to customers and they would promise them pretty much anything they wanted. And the problem with that was, is as a company, technologically, we didn't have the, the skills, the abilities, the capability to deliver on some of the promises that the salespeople would make. And that led to big problems, lots of relationship breakdowns and damage that I found myself as a quality director having to come in and do damage control on. It was a really tough position to be in because when you promise people something, they expect that you're being honest and that you can deliver the things that you say you're going to promise. And if you're doing that outside of what your company is capable of, it definitely causes huge, huge problems. Uh, so that's where I adopted my philosophy of under promise and over deliver under promise the time it's going to take to do something the the technological and specific capability and quality at which you're going to be able to deliver underestimate that and then over deliver and delight your customers don't promise them things that are absolutely positively technologically impossible at the time because i i found that that's a very uncomfortable position to be in and maybe that also helped to reinforce my honesty is the best policy belief uh, you know, I was one of those kids where I never really thought about lying much, but I also knew that if I ever did it, I get, would get caught. One time I tried to tell my parents a fable about why I had walked home from a neighboring town with two other teenage girls. They, of course, didn't buy it. And it was, of course, me sugarcoating the truth and not wanting to get in as much trouble as I was already going to be in. I was already going to be grounded no matter what. But uh, I learned early on that you might as well just think and learn from the mistakes that you make because being honest is always going to be the best policy. Turns out that 
April 30th is actually National Honesty Day. So I think I'll do a, a I'll find some more idioms about honesty and truth and integrity and authenticity and being yourself. But the bottom line is for our relationships, for our businesses, to grow our businesses, people have to know what they can expect from us. So I like to do what I call a little integrity audit every year and once a year, sometimes it's at the end of the year, sometimes it's at another time during the year, I like to just think back and review decisions and conversations and relationships and check in with myself and make sure that I am being number one, true to myself, who I really am, and then honest about that, number two, and sharing that with other people. Will everybody like you? Heck no. Will everybody want to do business with you? Absolutely not. But that's okay because we want to serve the people that we're here to serve. And we want to do that in an authentic, honest way that's in their best interest. We truly want to serve them. And that's how we supersize and grow our business. Love to know your personal experience with this honesty is the best policy. We all have stories. I'm sure you do as many as I do about people that have been dishonest or lied or deceitful or set us up for challenges and, and failures that we never could have anticipated. Uh, so I like to look on the bright side of that, not on the dark side of, of dishonesty. Have an amazing day. I'll be with you around with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your life and your business right now? Have an amazing day.